What is up, guys? It's Arodi out here. Welcome to our Pokemon Victory Fire Nuzlocke Challenge, episode 7, I believe. And in the last episode, we did a lot, a lot of grinding to the team and took on the second gym up here and actually beat the second gym. So, if you're looking forward to this episode, make sure you smash the like button down below so I support the channel and the series. We are trying to get to 10 likes every episode, so let's see if we can do it now. We have a team party up there because our team has changed since the last episode ended. So, we still have Tusk the Axe level 23 holding the Lax Incense because it did actually come in handy with Slash, Facade, Twister, and Cut. Then we have Sags the Scraggy level 23 with Faint Attack, Focus Energy, Sand Attack, and Leer. Kiki the Mighty Anna level 23 with Bite, Tackle, Howl, and Roar. Goldo the Woobat level 23 with Air Cutter, Confusion, Imprison, and Otis Sleuth. Then we have the new member to the team. The Grovile evolved from Trico in between episodes, like I did say, with Absorb, Bullet Seed, Quick Attack, and Pursuit. I didn't teach it Giga Drain for a simple, like, for a reason that I'm not entirely sure of. I'll explain what I'm thinking after the Team Party update. But then we have Jesse the Tranquil level 25 with Wing Attack, Quick Attack, Taunt Attack, taking a back seat since it is the strongest member of the party. Now, the reason why I didn't want to teach it, um, the reason why I didn't want to teach it Giga Drain is because. At level 29, it gets Leaf Blade, and I know that isn't as strong, but Giga Drain is a once-in-a-lifetime TM, I think, in this game, because you can't reteach TMs like in um in X and Y or Black 2, White 2. So that is the reason why I did that. I might put it on there, and one of the other reasons is if you actually go into... I actually never... I'll just explain it. If you actually go... Did I speak to you? To, um, to the TMs, Goldo can actually learn Giga Drain and Shadow Ball, and if... I don't, I don't know if Goldo's going to be a good member of the team, but just seeing that made me be like, okay, well, what other Pokemon can learn Giga Drain? And if we get Leaf Blade and Leaf Blade doesn't do the job or just Absorb until then doesn't do the job, then I will teach you Giga Drain, but no one here is doing anything important, for me at least. They might be doing important stuff, but not important to me. I'm guessing this was going to be something later on that we need to do. I sounded really Canadian there. I was like, later. But either way... Let's continue to get out of here, and pretty sure that if we go to the right here, Max is here, and he was stopping us before. So, let's lead off with, let's lead off with Sagas, since Sagas does have the Intimidate, so it's really good to lead off with. And, oh, that, that is Rising Band, so you beat that old guy. Well done, Nick. I challenged him last week, but I failed. He's, his Leviathan is too tough, but I still cannot believe it. I check it out if you're really as powerful as you said. So, you were right about his leaf, and if we didn't have the intimidate, intimidate going on, that would have been a lot of trouble. Pikachu level 21, we should be okay because Sagas is 23. I don't plan on doing grinding for a little bit just because of, you know, the levels that we do have now, but you can't always be sure about like level jumps in this game. That's why I'm quite scared. I'm pretty sure Faint Attack is 100% accurate. Like, I'm talking about, like, has never a chance to miss. I could be wrong. But one thing that I do want to do now is thinking that he is a full electric guy that I did forget. Let's go back into Tusks. Because Tusks can get the Guts boost, and then we can facade everything in our path. I feel like that's a good idea. Tynamo, it's funny because whenever I play a new, like, mainstream Pokemon game, I always go in with the intention of catching them all. And I remember Tynamo was so hard to find when, um, like when the black two, white two, I think, when I started playing, it was extremely hard to find. So it's like, I don't know why I remember Tynamo. And I remember reading the Pokedex description, it was like, this, this Pokemon is very weak, except if it's with others. And I'm like, then why did I spend so long trying to catch it? And then, you know, Electros comes in, he's really good, has no weaknesses, unless Mold Breaker and yada yada. Um, that could do some damage, not as much as I thought. Level 24 Electabuzz. See, so we are already not... Yes! Yes! See, we are already not, um, over-leveled anymore. Facade. Oh, Electabuzz. I'm sorry, Electabuzz. I do a polymagize very much. Voltorb. Now, I don't know what level you get self-destruct... I assume it's not now, but we're going to go for a potion just to be sure. I could go for like a um, soda pop, but I was expecting like a sonic boom like it did show, or like a supersonic or a charge, but 
if we can break through paralysis, this facade is going to destroy this Voltorb. And as you can see right there, Tusks is amazing. B amazing, C amazing, and even D amazing. But level 24, so we're going to put you in the back burner for a bit. False swipe. Yes. Oh, no, but you have cut. And Twister is good. We're going we're gonna to turn down false swipe. Even though it would be amazing to catch Pokemon with. He does have cut on him, which does suck. I will get rid of cut in a heartbeat, but... Well, Nicola, I'm going uh, to tell you what I'm here for. Catch this, a HMO5. <laughs> Just chuck a random disc at me. But either way, that's HMO5. It contains Flash. Only trainers who have the Rising Badge can make it through. Oh, no. So we have to use Flash. Oh, well. Can anyone learn Flash? Ah, uh, Savior of the Universe. If you guys know Flash Gordon, bit of a throwback to me when I was in the production like three years ago at school. But why am I going back? It's, it's this way. Okay. Flash. Grovile and Sagas. Now, those are two Pokemon that I see not wanting to have Flash because they are both very strong Pokemon. But I'm on guard duty, so you're just going to let me walk right past... I mean, I know I'm not a strong, like, trainer at the moment, but give, give me time, give me time. I'll get there. I'll get there. Wait, Greenland City. Okay, Dark Green Path. We get a new encounter. If we had False Swipe, that'd be amazing. But either way, let's lead off with... We'll lead off with Grovile, since Grovile does have Absorb, and I feel like something's going to be a grass type here. But what is our first encounter going to be? Krogunk! Okay. I'm not mad at that. I am not mad at all. Absorb should definitely not kill you. Hopefully not. I know that we already have a fighting type, but we... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Had your energy drained. Astonish. <gasps> Astonish. Oh my god. Let's go for another Absorb. I start to weaken him down. I'll, once he gets into the yellow, I will start chucking Pokeballs, because I know crits are a thing. I could go for one more, but crits are scary if, if you guys have been around the channel a lot. So, Pokeball. Get in the ball. Yeah, Krogunk. Now, we've actually used a Krogunk before, but we've never actually gotten to a Toxic Krog. So, we have not had the best luck. But, oh, I usually name these guys Jabbers, but we already have Saggers, and I feel like that'd be stupid because they're both fighting types. Um, that's what I named my Shiny Toxic Croak when I first caught it. Um, you're purple. We're going to name you... you oh! Oh, we're naming you Brittany. Because you're toxic. I'm slipping under. <laughs> Brittany. Yeah, that, that's a name. Pretty sure that's how you spell Brittany. If not, oh well. But we're going to actually go back to the town and chuck Brittany on the team. Because Brittany... Actually, actually, I might run through the end of this episode. No, no, no. no. We, we, need, we need Brittany. Kiki is literally just a worse... Um, a worse Sagas. And now we actually have a Pokemon where if we do white out and we want to continue the LP, we can just solo run it with Kiki. So I'm starting like this. We're actually building up a party of Pokemon, which is a very nice change to this LP. I mean, we're episode, what, seven? And we just started getting new Pokemon, like, to fill up the box with. So, Brittany is a hardy nature. Pretty sure that's neutral if I'm, sh if I'm correct with just... With just Astonish. Oh, Krogunk. Oh, well. I love you, Krogunk. Let's lead off with Sagas in the front. Because Sagas can get that Intimidate drop. And I want to double battle these guys. And I know, actually, that could have been very dangerous. Depending on what their level is. Litwick and Krogunk. Level 20. Okay. Um, Look at Krogunk's face. Well, we're going to Astonish the Litwick. So oh, wait. No. Do you have Dry Skin? I don't know if Dry Skin's in this gen. Um... You have Poison Point. Okay, so you won't take double damage if a Fire-type move's coming. Fan Attack, you... So, actually, no, why'd I do that? I meant to Fan Attack the Krogunk. Ah, uh, well, your Mask is coming out. So we can just speed... Astonish does nothing. Let's just keep Astonishing the Krogunk, because I want to get that flinch chance. But, your Mask... You had a chance to join... Oh! Oh, see, I, I don't appreciate that. I really don't. Sagas, can you just finish him off? No, because it's not very effective. That's right. <gasps> Wait, can Astonish finish him off? If no, we don't outspeed. Oh, well. 
Is this like, um, did they keep it with third gen where you switch in and then I do the damage? Good, I like that. Um, you're a fighting type, so let's go into Goldo, which resists both, I mean, like your stab two times. Because I was expecting a low kick. Let's go for a confusion because Air Cutter does have that chance to miss. And there we go. Brittany, are you going to gain a level? Please. I mean, are you close at all? It's You, <laughs> you battled four Pokemon. Okay, you're, you're close at least. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Now, ooh, berries. Okay, Chesto berries. That's good to have. Rost berries. Kind of forget what they're used for. Asper berries. You're useless to me. And Prism berries. I think those are for Poke Blocks. But what else could we have gotten? We could have had an Alakid? We could have had an Alakid. I don't think you guys understand that we could have had an Alakid. That is amazing. Because we could have brought back Watson. Watson the... Oh. Watson the Electabuzz. Oh well, Brittany's level 16. Because Brittany is going to prove her worth. Technically, I mean, we do have two fighting types. But we do not have a single stab type move on either for fighting. So... Let's go into... Actually, that's going to be risky if we go into Tusks. You know what? Screw it. Tusk is a, is a strong man. Yeah, Leer. Exactly. You missed the Leer. Because the Lax Incense. Boom. That is amazing. Twister doing the work. And I'm pretty sure you said something about another Dragon type when I talked to you. I could be wrong. Gibble. Gibble, 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 Gibble. Gibble, 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 Gibble. Let's go. Actually, you could have Dragon Rage. Oh, if you have Dragon Rage. Let's go into Jesse. Horn attack. Okay. Because I, I'm not messing around with Gibbles. Because Dragon Rage is... Uh, Dragon Rage? Dragon Rage is a very scary thing. And we got beauty... We just got girls' numbers on the daily. Okay, let's heal up a bit more. Um, Sangas could use it a bit. I mean, we have a bunch of potions. So... We could add another Krogunk. I'm not that sad that we didn't get another Krogunk. I really want to get a a new move on this guy. We have a Zinc. Zinc. I could use. I could sell that, or I can use it to raise Special Defense. I'm thinking. Actually, no. We can use that on Wubat because I'm pretty sure he evolves through Happiness, and that stuff boosts Happiness. So that's good to know. And lucky we didn't get rid of Cut, even though we didn't really have the choice. I mean, this leads to nowhere. There's a small indent in the wall. I'm guessing that's for secret bases. Guessing, I could be wrong. This uses the preset of um Mount Pyre being down there and stuff like that. See, I remember this. I, I was an Emerald kid. I Emerald's probably my favorite Pokemon game of all time. I loved it. Ghastly. Um Astonish should be able to Night Slash, that's gonna do 21 or 16. One of those two. That does 21. 21. And that does no damage. So let's Let's switch out. Thank goodness you didn't have Pursuit. I don't know if you could get Pursuit, but that's scary. Spite. Spite or Smite? Which one was that? I don't really care. Because now Sag is... I was about to say, Sag is going to get a new move. Um, Mariana is quite... Liter no pun intended. Intimidating at this point of the game. So, I guess we'll go on a Grovile since he is our one of our only two special attackers. Which is kind of bad now that I hear about it. And how much does this do? I'm going to teach you... Okay, then. Okay, then. We're losing someone. We're losing a... Oh, my goodness. We're losing someone. Unless Saggers can, like, pull something out of somewhere that I don't really want to know about. Because you're the only one that resists. And if this guy starts howling... Oh, this is going to be... Sand attack! Yes! Okay, howl. That's not good. Sand attack, we have one... Let's go for a focus energy. Oh, no. I mean, as long as you only have bite like ours did. Let's go for a faint attack. Oh, that's plus three. That's plus three. Critical hit. Please, please, one more crit. Yes. No, no, that's not a crit, but you missed. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, that still does nothing. <laughs> Can you please crit? Not me. No, 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 not like... Okay. Good, because I, I usually when I say that, and if I don't specify, bad luck happens. Oh, Saggers. No, I can't admit this. I'll win next time. I am not battling you again. I hope you know that. You almost killed a... You took down Grovile 
with one bite. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm teaching him Giga Drain right now. Because I also did look up his, his moveset. And it turns out he does get Giga Drain, but only as a Trico and only when he's like level 40 something. So let's get rid of... I guess Absorb, because if we do have our special attack lowered for some reason, um, Bullet Seed could work. Um, can anyone learn Shadow Ball besides Gold, though? Tusks can. I remember saying that, but it's physical. I mean, it's special in this, but... So, why do want to go on the entrance again? Yeah, I know. It's so boring. We have to obey. So, is there anything we can do to kill time? I can. <laughs> that was the worst. <laughs> That's like saying, excuse me, do you have five dollars? I can. It's like, that doesn't, I see where you were going, but it doesn't make sense. Exactly. Not funny. Oh no, that stupid kid again. We have no choice now. We'll try our best to rid of him. Okay. Team Mirage. Um, this is a double battle. We do have Saggers in the second position, so Intimidate is a thing. Machop and Bayleaf. Now... This is scary, because you're both level 21, so it's not terrible, but we need to get Brittany out of here. If I knew we were going to battle them, I wouldn't have led with Brittany. I would have just stayed in with Sagas, but Sagas needs to swap out as well. So let's go into Goldo, because we're really good with both of our stabs on these guys. And I guess we can go into Jesse, since you are also good with both of the stabs. So let's super speed you guys into here. And we have, okay, Reflect. That is physical damage. Air Cutter is special, I think. Winning Attack is physical. So, it, that isn't the best. Wait, does Air Cutter hit both? It does. Ooh. That's good. I know this won't kill because of the Reflect. Just. Just. Air Cutter hits both. So, Machop doesn't even matter. You had to fall to lose it all. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. And... Fun fact for you guys, um, if you use a move that hits multiple targets in a double battle, or a triple battle, the move damage gets decreased. So, fun fact right there. So let's go for another wing attack, because we do outspeed this Bailey. I know Reflect is up, but we should be able to take it out if we hit this Air Cutter. We do hit the Air Cutter, Bailey got whooped, and there we go. So, they're down, and Carlos and Bell were not that hard at all. Brittany's level 17, getting up in the levels. I might do a miniature little grinding thing to get um, Krogunk up to speed, but I may not. But either way... Hey, Bell, let's have a match. What match? Running match, of course. Run! <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Um, this is a new area, I think, hopefully. Um, I meant to go to save. Pine Forest, so it is a new area, unless I caught someone here in Pine Forest, which I'm pretty sure I didn't. Yeah, no one here is from Pine Forest, so, new encounter. I don't want to battle anyone, because I want to go, ooh. Um, okay, there's nothing there, but either way, what is our encounter for Pine Forest going to be? It's going to be a Caterpie. Well... Guess who's staying in the box for a bit at least? I was about to throw a Shadow Ball TM at him, just like, take that. But we shouldn't need to weaken it, because it is a... Okay, really, Caterpie? You're not worth it, Caterpie. You're a Caterpie. Stop doing what you're doing, Caterpie. Thank you. Okay, now, you're a male Caterpie. I'm going to name you... Oh. <laughs> I got one. I feel really bad, but I'm going to name you Bye Bye. <laughs> like, Bye Bye Butterfree. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, this name... <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> bye Bye Butterfree. <laughs> okay. We're going to go back out and go to the right, because I assume that there's, like, these something we can do here. This is my house, my family, and I live here. So, Qualot Berries... These are all just for, um, Nanabia. They're all just for making Poke Blocks, which I'm not trying to do. But I'll grab one of each just to make sure that I'm not being stupid. Palmeg looks like a sombrero, but I'm pretty sure there's two old people in here and they give us berries. Yeah, they ripped them straight from here. And this guy gives us a bunch. They ripped them straight from Emerald, sorry. And then this one's like, can you please give me a phrase? And then I'll give you a berry. And I'm going to go, um, airlock, airlock, come over. 
come over our lock, no worries. And she's like, okay, have a raspberry. That opened my eyes. I'm like, no worries, mate. Any time for you. Hopefully there is a... <laughs> let's say, hopefully there is something like a... Um, a town where I can heal up over there, but there is a nugget. See, that is why you always look around. I might go back and heal. I feel like that's the right thing to do because I don't want to waste all my potions since we're going right into a Team Mirage base. I might also go and um, buy some more like lemonades and stuff because although they're quite annoying to buy, they come in a pinch. So let's go for soda pop, click clang, fresh water, click clang, fresh water, click clang. Fre I'm guessing we'll just buy a bunch of fresh water since there's no real need for other stuff. And I guess we can go a little bit into um, Pine Forest and we'll end the episode off halfway through. I feel like that's the right thing, the left thing, the middle thing, the up thing, the down thing to do. And that guy, I just ran right into him. Lucky this wasn't like gridiron or rugby where we just smack the hell out of people because I would have had a lawsuit on my hands but anyway Ella kid oh kid you can't escape really thunder punch well guess who's coming in it's gonna be saggers because goddamn um crow can't, can't run away from anything for some reason but faint attack thunder punch oh I want to go back and heal but I'm not going to because that's stupid so let's just use a paralyzed heal because Fun fact, we do have Paralyzed Heals, and think we do at least. If not, I'm going to look stupid. We do not have Paralyzed Heals. Are you serious? Um, I thought we did. Am I being stupid? Antidote, Awakening, po uh, Potion, Super Repel, Sea Incense, Soda Pop, Lemonade, Nugget, Fresh Water. Okay, we do not. So, I kind of want to... Oh, actually, 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 actually. Hey, Macarena. Uh, do we have any Auron Berries? We do not. Okay, so I was about to say we can use those to heal up very slightly, but let's battle this Team Mirage Grunt. As you come here, we have those Odd Guards done. Those Odd Guards Pooch. Level 22. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty scared. <laughs> Raw. Okay, that, that literally made nothing happen. Literally nothing. Good. Slash. Critical hit? No. I was, I was hoping for a crit. I was hoping. A, a boy can hope, alright? Team Mirage Grunt is taken down. These levels are starting to get really scary and sketchy. Because I feel like when we battle the actual leader of Team Mirage, he's going to have, like, level 80s. And we're going to be like, what? Level 80? And then he's going to be like, yeah, level 80. And we're going to be like, what? Either way, I can stop sounding like that smog. Um, We do get the poison boost so we can facade... But I don't want to keep it on him because I do not want to let him die. I feel like that's a good answer. Let's go for an antidote and heal up Tusk. I know there was probably a berry in there somewhere to heal him up. But either way, the road's blocked. You cannot pass. What are you, Gandalf? I haven't even seen Lord of the Rings. I know, big shock. But Gandalf, I know what that is because it's like, fly you fools. And it's like, Gandalf, no. I want to see in, in post if that actually sounded like I was going further and further away. But knowing me, I'll probably just forget about it. So, Murkrow. Let's go into Brittany. Why are there so many dark types? We don't have a fighting type move. This sucks. But let's go back into Tusk since... Oh! See, like, the thought crossed my mind. It literally just went... That didn't, though. That didn't cross my mind. Oh, but the pursuit. But we resist pursuit, so we should be okay. I'm pretty sure we resist. Oh, God, I made, made, made a bad snake. Oh, oh, okay, okay, Jesse. You need to come in here and clean up your, your team's business, as you always do. As the big, tanky, beef, beef bird you are. Um, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to end the episode off here. In the next episode, we will be right back here with a fully healed team to take on Team Mirage. And actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna make my my run backwards just so, so we can save some time and get right back into the next episode. But do, but either way, I hope you guys did. Oh, I should take you out of the front. You could have died. You could have died. Oh god. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. 
If you did enjoy this episode, make sure you smash the like button down below, as it does help support the channel and the series. Let's see if we can get to 10 likes, like I have been saying at the start of every episode. And follow my Twitter if you haven't, link will be in the description below. And yeah, don't have much else to say. This has been a roadie ad. Catch you guys later. Peace.